Welcome to Physics Power Channel. In this video, I will explain few problems in orbital velocity. Let us see the first problem. An artificial satellite is orbiting at a height of 1800 km from the surface of the earth. Find the speed of the satellite. So they gave from the surface of the earth height of the satellite and as well as the radius they mentioned. So try to solve the problem. If you want to solve the problem, pause the video or if you did not get any idea, so I am giving one hint also, try to solve with this. So it is very simple, is orbital velocity problem only we are doing, so formula will be definitely orbital velocity. So orbital velocity v not equals to square root of gm by r plus h. So with this hint try to solve, if not continue the video. So if you take the given data, the height they mentioned that h that is 800 kilometer given radius of the earth 6300 kilometer. So total 8100 kilometer that is the radius of the orbit. So here in this formula r plus h value known value but g m they did not give g value capital G and as well as m value. So in that case one simple logic is there. So orbital velocity formula in that capital G value universal gravitational constant and as well as mass of the earth generally we can't remember that much but simply we can remember small g acceleration due to gravity that is only just 10 meter per second square. So we can convert this formula in terms of small g say for that purpose you have to multiply the equation inside the root with r square and denominator also r square then that r square at numerator we can keep outside the root then only r and remaining part square root of gm by r square into r plus h. So now inside the root gm by r square nothing but small g. So if we substitute instead of gm by r square small g then the formula will be v not equals to capital R into square root of small g by r plus h. Now r value known radius of the earth g value 10 meter per second square that also we know and as well as denominator in the root r plus h that is also we know if you substitute all the values you will get expression like this now inside the root 10 in the 10 0 and denominator 0 will get cancelled and afterwards root 81 nothing but 9 so we can write the same expression like this inside the root 81 into 10 to the power of 4. So then if you remove the root means if you take the entire 81 into 10 to the power of 4 from the root then you will get like this 1 by 9 into 10 to the power of 2. Now the 10 square and 2 zeros get cancelled and 63 divides 9 no sorry 9 divides 63 by 7 times so 7 into 10 to the power of 3. So this is the value we got units is a system of units meter per second this one you can also convert like this 10 to the power of 3 nothing but kilometer so 7 kilometer per second generally orbital velocity escape velocity will measure in terms of kilometers per second so that is why like this so this is the answer now go for next problem so in this problem the orbital velocity of a satellite close to the earth is v so very close to the earth they gave instead of value symbol Calculate the orbital velocity at a height 1 by 4th of earth radius in terms of v. So they are asking at a particular height so h value indirectly they give that 1 4th of radius of the earth means r by 4. So h value r by 4 they mentioned. So try to solve by giving pause to this video if not so I am giving one hint. So simple logic the orbital velocity concept orbital velocity formula only so try to solve with this and try to get the answer not continue if you read the given data orbital velocity near to the earth's surface they mentioned as v height h equals to capital r by 4 capital r is the radius of the earth now if you substitute those values in the orbital velocity expression but here they gave v value very near to the surface means h value approximately 0 if you substitute then v equals to square root of gm by r 
that they mentioned as a symbol they are asking v not so for that purpose substitute instead of small h r by 4 then this is the expression v not equals to square root of gm by r plus r by 4 now if you simplify further denominator lcm 4 so 4 r plus r here denominator to the denominator inside the root that 4 you can keep outside sorry at numerator then square root of 4 gm by 5 r now that 4 we can keep outside as a 2 and as well as root 5 if you separate then square root of gm by r that square root of gm by r nothing but we wrote on top that is v equals to gm by r so instead of that we can write v so therefore v not equals to 2 by 5 into v so the velocity of this satellite at a height r by 4 the velocity is 2 by root 5 into v that is the answer next one more problem now if vh is the orbital velocity of a geostationary satellite orbiting in a circular orbit at an altitude 6 times radius of the earth so this time they gave orbital velocity at a particular height find the value of orbital velocity of the satellite revolving very close to the surface so in the previous problem they gave the velocity very near to the surface and they asked at a particular height r by 4 now yet 6 r distance geostationary satellite orbital velocity they mentioned as vh and they are asking velocity very near to the surface so orbital velocity formula if you want to do just give pause and do it if not given data h equals to 6 r orbital velocity vh at a particular height so instead of v naught they mentioned as vh so that is why i am writing as vh equals to square root of gm by r plus h now further here instead of small h they mentioned as 6 r so if you substitute the denominator total will be 7 r inside the root so that denominator 7 if you separate 1 by root 7 into square root of gm by r this square root of gm by r denominator plus h not there means h value 0 means that is the orbital velocity very near to the surface so that only we want so that is orbital velocity close to the earth let it be v so we can write vh equals to 1 by root 7 into v but they are asking orbital velocity very close to the earth surface v so send root 7 that side then therefore v equals to root 7 into vh it's a very simple problem so if you do two problems next problems will look easy next problem this one I consider a little bit a different one a satellite revolves around a planet in an elliptical orbit its maximum and minimum distances from the planet are 1.5 into 10 to the power of 7 meter and 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of 7 meter respectively if the speed of satellite at a farthest point be 5 km per second then find the speed at nearest point so important model so if you got any idea pause this video and try to solve if not i am giving one hint by using law of conservation of angular momentum we can solve further if you want observe the diagram so planet around the planet a satellite is revolving in elliptical orbit so here you can consider n and f n nearest point f farthest point so from the p planet the farthest point is at a distance rf here and nearest point is at a distance rn and at nearest point the velocity is vn and at farthest point the velocity is vf so according to law of conservation of angular momentum everywhere total along the elliptical path angular momentum should be a constant value so at two points we can write like this according to conservation of angular momentum angular momentum at nearest point is equals to angular momentum at the farthest point so angular momentum nothing but mvr so for nearest point so n indication at the farthest point f indication so 
like this expression will come both sides same get cancelled now you will get simple formula so the given data again the problem just i mentioned here also to write the data so rn nearest point 0.5 into 10 to power 7 meter farthest point 1.5 into 10 to power 7 meter this is to mention and the velocity at farthest point they mentioned that is 5 km per second so asking vn so we got the formula already from this so the asking velocity at the nearest point vn so mass get cancelled in this formula so only vn we want send r in that side it will go to the denominator at right side so now substitute all the values vf value 5 into 10 to the power of sorry only 5 velocity that is in kilometer so final answer also will get in kilometer then 1.5 into 10 to the power of 7 rf value and as well as rn value so finally you will get 5 into 3 that is 15 kilometer per second so this is the final answer thank you